A tragedy in West Haven after a woman and three children were found shot last night. This is our top story tonight on 2 News at 6. I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. Glad you're with us. As the small community reels from yet another tragedy, what is the latest? We have team coverage on this tragic situation. Brian Malahi spoke with investigators about what they know so far and now what's next in the search for answers. We begin, though, with Amanda Gilbert, who spoke with neighbors who are wondering now if what they thought were fireworks this past weekend might have actually been gunshots. Amanda, what are neighbors saying to you? What do they see in here? Well, I want to start by saying the crime scene tape is now gone and instead a small memorial grows on the front steps tonight. This is where the crime was. Uh, and I want to mention that this is an area where I've just seen families and kids all day today. Neighbors describe this neighborhood as quiet and this family as sweet. Signs of children once playing outside are now an eerie reminder of what happened here. Just the sweetest little family. The kids would come over all the time. Darren King moved next door about three years ago. He describes the people who live here as a great family. Her daughter moved home um, just a couple months ago. She moved back home. The kids. So those little kids were just the joy of the, of the neighborhood. Super cute. Just days prior to the tragedy. We went walking on Friday evening and the the mom and the kids were out in the front yard and we stopped and talked to him and but there was nothing nothing that stuck out he thought he might have heard fireworks this past weekend it was just kind of a passing thought that oh maybe they're lighting off fireworks for the holiday i didn't i didn't even give it two thoughts that maybe it was was gunshots across the street tara jacobson also thought she heard fireworks it just is really weird to have something like this happen and it's just so quiet out here. Her ring doorbell camera captured the driveway and the car where the bodies were discovered. Did you notice the car move at all or when did you notice not it stopped moving? All weekend it moved um, like we saw it moving Friday and Saturday, Sunday, but after Sunday night it didn't move. Living this close. So sad. I, I don't understand how taking life of a child could ever do anything for anybody, but it's horrible to think about. Some of these neighbors just wish they could have helped more. And the bodies were found in a car that was in the driveway behind me. Law enforcement confirms it was a family member who made the initial discovery and call last night. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News.